Hello and welcome everyone to the SAP Data Sphere training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last session, we talked about how can we set up our SAP Data Sphere account along with SAP Analytics Cloud. In our today's episode, we will learn how to work with different data layers in SAP Data Sphere. You will understand what is the difference between data builder and business builder in SAP Data Sphere. Before we start the session, please smash the like button and share and subscribe this channel for more interesting videos like this for free. So let's get started and understand data builder and business builder. Now let's talk about the data sphere modeler role, how the modelers will build the content in SAP data sphere. So I already discussed about these two specific area data builder and business builder area. So what is data builder? So whenever you build a software, you should keep it in mind that you are building the software not just for today, you're building it for future. So whenever you build any data sphere application for your use cases, you should split up your content into two parts. First is called data layer and second is called business layer. This is how even in BW you do. First you create DSOs, then on top you create the an analytic query, then on top you create the backs query. Like that you use the use the different levels of development. Same way you do it in analytic uh, in, in the data sphere. So you have data layer where IT model underlying relationships, they will decide how technically the data will be acquired and stored, how data will be joined, union, applying the formulas on the on the data model and building the pure hardcore data model like dimensions and measures. So how can I assure queries will perform with data coming from heterogeneous systems? So basically you see, this is one system, this is another system, data is coming, it is unioning, then we are reviewing the data and then we are creating a data persistence or data layer. So this is basically the data layer. The technical layer, it is traditionally used by technical developers like you and me who has very good understanding, functional understanding of data, plus how to acquire this data from different, different connections and systems. Then on top of this layer, we have the business layer. Business layer where users work with in terms of business terms. So they have the full functional knowledge of the business. What is their use case? What do they need from the business point of view? So what are the key margin drivers for my product? For example, this is a question which business wants to answer. What are my key margin drivers for my product? Yes, if I'm, I, if I'm Apple, what, are, what is driving the sales of iPhone? I want to know that. I want to know business questions. So for that, I don't need to know where the data is coming from. What is the relationship between the data? What are the tables being accessing the data? I don't need to know that. I just need to know what are my KPIs? What is my business? What is my business requirement says? So here, uh, you will basically try to answer business relevant questions on top of the data which is being built. So as a business layer consultant, you are not really concerned about how the data is being achieved or how the data is being fetched. You are only concerned about your business questions. Yes, business question. What if I reduce the price by 10%? What's the impact of that on my margin? Yes. So business entities and relationship with the business language. In data layer, we have model standardization and reuse for efficiency. So business use cases can be many. Let's say, use case one, use case two, use case three, use case four, but all of that will be built on top of same data layer. So this ensures standardization, security at a central place and reusability with efficiency. Yes. So your business users are independent from IT users. So you are an IT consultant, you know how the data replication flow works, data integration flow works, data jobs works, data connection works. That's a technical part of the knowledge. Whereas the business layer, it's more of functional, more of from the point of business, from the output point of view. So this is why there are two separate sections, data builder and business builder. They are usually done by two different people. Of course, in this training, I'll teach you both the personas, both the perspectives. Now, data sphere modelers. So there are multiple modeling capabilities that addresses different user groups. So let me talk a, a quick about the data layer and the business layer. So SAP Data Sphere offers 
मल्टीपल मॉडलिंग कैपेबिलिटीज दैट एड्रेसेस डिफरेंट यूजर ग्रुप्स फ्रॉम बिजनेस एनालिस्ट विद डीप बिजनेस अंडरस्टैंडिंग to the tech savvy developers and power users so you can clearly see we have a different perspective here for different user groups and different users yeah so business analysts have business knowledge but people like you me tech savvy people we have technical knowledge how to connect get the data in a typical end to end scenario to close the related components of data sphere are applied so first is data layer as i mentioned in the diagram so what is data layer data layer contains the basic modeling of underlying data sources and tables the related set of tools are available in data builder so the data builder section is where we have the relevant tools in the data builder section here developers and modelers use tables views and intelligent lookups to combine clean and prepare data views are exposed sometimes directly to analytic cloud yes that is your data layer then we have the business layer the business layer allows user to create their own business models on top of data layer in business terms so business relevant questions you want to answer like what will be the effect on my sales margin if i give a 10% discount on a product the related set of tools are provided in the business layer section or business builder section data builder and business builder yes so these are the tools which they have provided the related set of tools are provided by sap data builder objects are consumed in the business builder for modeling and consumption so data builder objects like table views are consumed in the business builder from consumer point of view to calculate kpis aggregate data create final results for consumption tools that's a main purpose they combine refine enrich the data builder artifacts so all the artifacts which you built in data builder they will be combined and reach redefined in more semantic way more semantic approach 
Yes, semantic approach means adding business documentation, providing more information on top of data. So data builder is a technical layer. Business builder is a semantic layer, which provide more information about your objects. So we can add semantic information before exposing lightweight tightly focused objects for consumption by analytic law. So all this information we can add to our business builder layer objects so that they can be consumed easily by different tools. Let's say the moment I consume a particular model, it should automatically show rows as my products customer name and order ID and columns as my total sales, total revenue, total profit, profit margin and gross margin. So the report will automatically understand what you are exposing yes, from the consumer point of view. So all the semantic information will be added to the system with the help of this business builder layer. All okay. right. So thank you so much for all of you for attending today's session on the topic of SAP Datasphere. As usual, please feel free to subscribe the complete training end to end on SAP Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP, UI5 Fury, or any other technical skill set which you would want to upgrade in this new world of cloud. So do not forget to visit www.anubautrainings.com. Also, shoot us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com for any of the requirement regarding the technical training in the space of SAP. With that, Anuba signing out. Once again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next episode.